What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another AI video. Today, we're diving into chat GPT images, and that's because OpenAI just dropped GPT Image 1.5, their new flagship image generator. Whether you're creating something from scratch or editing a photo, you'll get the output you're picturing. This newest model by OpenAI is all about making precise edits while keeping details intact, and it even generates images up to four times faster. Now, the biggest upgrade I'm seeing right off the bat is precision editing. I mean, the entire promo video is nearly one long character consistency flex, and it is super impressive, like changing out one part of the image without messing with anything else. A bunch of other wins here includes creative transformations, instruction following, and text rendering, to name a few of the model's improvements. Now, along with all the heavy hitter models, GPT Image 1.5 can be found right over on Artlist. And that's where I'm gonna be putting this new model to the test. So let's head on over to artlist.io. Of course, the link is gonna be in the description as always. I'm gonna click on Start Free Now. Let's continue with Google. All right, and this is gonna land you right on the homepage within Artlist. Now, a quick scan over the homepage is gonna show you all the heavy hitter models within Artlist. So we've got GPT Image 1.5, 2.6 Pro, Nano Banana Pro, Sora 2 Pro, Wan 2.6, and the list goes on here. I'm going to go ahead and click on GPT Image 1.5, which is described as faster generation with precise editing and text rendering. All right, I'm just going to click on the model drop down right here. And would you look at that? We've got GPT Image 1.5 low, medium, and high. And all the other models are in here as well Nano Banana Pro, C Dance 4.5, Klingo 1 Image. Now let's come over to the very top. I'm going to click on GPT Image. 1.5 medium, which describes as balance, speed, and visual quality perfectly, the standard choice for everyday creation. All right, let's jump into the first demo. So I do have text to image selected for this first one. All right, so here is my prompt. So I have a skateboarder skating through a Venice beach side street. I've got palm trees, low stucco buildings, late 1990s analog documentary aesthetic, shot on 35 millimeter color film, natural light, soft shadows, casual, all that good stuff. I've got the three by two aspect ratio selected. I'm gonna go with one image. Let's go ahead and click on generate. All right, here we go. Here is our shot. We've got this skateboarder skating down this Venice street, exactly like I asked. Now this looks fantastic. All right, now here's what I'm gonna do. So I've got image to image select. I'm gonna drag my image into this box right here. I'm gonna make sure we have three by two selected. We've got the same model. And now I'm gonna punch this in. Put a winter coat on the man skateboarding and make it look like it just snowed. Let's click on generate. All right, here we go. Here is our image. So everything has stayed the exact same, except our skater is wearing a winter coat. And of course it just snowed, just like I asked for. So this is looking fantastic. Now, when you're in Artlist, you can also come down to my creations. And if you hover your mouse over the image, you can click right here and click on transform image. And this is just gonna upload that image right inside this box, which allows you to describe how to transform your image. Okay, now I'm gonna say this, add an enormous winter Yeti far away in the distance in the sky. Let's punch that in. All right, here we go. Here is our image. We've got our Yeti in the background, exactly like I asked. All right, but to be honest with you, I actually envision the Yeti to be much bigger. So I'm just gonna say this. Of course, I've got my image uploaded. Make the Yeti even bigger. Let's punch that in. All right, here we go. Here is our Yeti in the background, looking a lot scarier, a lot bigger. This is much more what I had in mind. Now, if we quickly look at all the images we just created side by side, we can see the consistent progression between each of them. And as I mentioned earlier, everything is followed to a T. Everything is super consistent. I'm very impressed with this model. Let's jump into the next demo because I want to try out instruction following on for size. So I want to do something very similar to this grid. So here's my prompt. Draw a four by four grid. Row one's going to be golden retriever, Labrador retriever, German shepherd, Siberian husky. And then row two is going to be French bulldog, Pug, Boxer, Doberman, and then row three and row four are gonna continue. So in total, we have 16 different dogs. So let's see how well this model is able to follow very detailed instruction. So let's click on generate. All right, here we go. Here is our dog. So we've got 16 dogs in total. And I just double checked my prompt and each cell here is completely accurate. The dogs are photorealistic. The grid measurements look exact from my perspective. I'm very impressed. But of course we are not stopping there. So I've got my new 16 dog generation uploaded. And I'm just gonna say this in the chat box. Change the art style so that the dogs are Pixar style. Got our model selected, three by two. 
Let's go ahead and click on generate. All right, here we go. Here is our 16 dog grid exactly as before, but now it is Pixar style. Again, I am super impressed. This is a ton of fun. Okay, let's do that again, but this time I want to go with anime style. So everything's going to be the same. Let's click on generate just like before, but anime style. Everything else is the exact same. And again, no complaints here. It followed my instruction exactly. But since we've come this far, let's do one more for good measure. So I want to go with this style kind of a sketchbook style let's do this change the art style so that the dogs are sketchbook style let's punch that in as well all right last one here is the sketchbook style obviously this one looks like an artist went ahead and sketched each dog individually and that's great because that's the exact look that I had in mind so there you go a handful of demos leveraging the new GPT 1.5 image model within Artlist. now the truth is the possibilities are are endless and I 100% recommend you give this new model a go by OpenAI. And if you want to try out this new model on artlist.io, which is home to all the heavy hitter models, the link is going to be in the description and pinned comment below as always. Just make sure you let your creative juices flow and good luck with your creations.